Hi everyone, hope you're all well. Welcome to our third week lesson. In the last lesson, we were looking at different questions that you could come across when you were thinking about weight. In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at different types of scales that can help us to weigh things. So what kind of scales can help us to measure the weight of something? Firstly, balance scales can help us to compare different weights between two objects. These are just like the seesaw that we were speaking about in the last video. So the balance scale will tell you if something is heavier or lighter compared to something else, but it won't tell you the actual weight of it. Let's find some things to weigh with our balance scale. Here we have a candle and an egg. Which one do you think is going to be heavier? Let's check. So I would put my egg in one side. Notice how it's going down. And I would put my candle in the other side. Oh, so because my candle is near the floor and my egg is floating in the air, that means that the candle is heavier than the egg. What about the egg and the coaster? Let's check. So we'll put our coaster in here. Oh, see how it's going all the way down? And then we'll put our egg in here. Oh, so our egg is heavier than our coaster because our coaster is up high which means it's lighter, and our egg is down low, which means it's heavier. What about these two teddies? Which one do you think is heaviest? The gingerbread man or the horse? Let's check. So we'll put our horse in first. Pop him in here. Ooh. And then we'll pop our gingerbread man in the other side. Ooh. So it looks like our gingerbread man is heavier than our horse because our gingerbread man is near the floor, which means that he is heavier than our horse who is up in the air. Another scale that we can use is a kitchen scale. Now when we're setting this up, it's very important to make sure that this little hand here is pointing at zero. Kitchen scales use grams as a unit of measurement. G -u -a -m -s. This is a very small unit of measurement. And when we're writing how many grams something is, we would put a g at the back of it. So if something was 10 grams, I would put a g at the back of it so that they know I was speaking about grams instead of 10 horses or 10 puppies. There are a few things that weigh exactly a gram. So a small paper clip would weigh a gram, a birthday candle would weigh a gram, or a stick of chewing gum would weigh a gram. We normally use kitchen scales to weigh things like food. On my scales here, each line, so the small little lines here, represent 25 grams. So it goes up 25, 50, 75, 100. Let's find some things to weigh with our scales. Let's weigh these carrot cake slices. I am going to guess or estimate that these are 25 grams. Let's check. Pop it in here. Let's have a look. So, my dial is pointing at the second line, which means that my cake slices are 50 grams. How much do you think my teddy will weigh? I am going to estimate that it is 75 grams. Let's check. We'll pop him on here. And 
let's check. So my teddy is 100 grams. So this long line means 100 grams. What about these jelly tots? How heavy do you think they are? Let's check. Put them on here. So we've got my big dial is 100, 25, 50. My jelly tots weigh 150 grams. We can also use bathroom scales to help us measure weight. High scales measure weight in kilograms. One kilogram is the same as 1,000 grams. That means I would need a thousand paper clips to make one kilogram. When we are speaking about kilograms and writing down the weight of something in kilograms, we always make sure to put a k and a g at the end so that people know that we are talking about kilograms instead of grams or instead of feet or instead of lollipops, or instead of ice creams. My kitchen scales only go up to one kilogram, whereas my bathroom scales go all the way up to 140 kilograms, all the way down. So if I was weighing with my kitchen scales, they would only go up to the first line here. Do you see that? So my kitchen scales wouldn't be any good for weighing me or some luggage, but my bathroom scales would be. So these make it easier to weigh heavier things. And just like our kitchen scales, we need to make sure that our bathroom scales are sitting on the zero. Let's find some things around the house to weigh. Let's check how much my hoover weighs. It looks like my hoover weighs three kilograms. You can also weigh yourself using bathroom scales. For today's activity, I have uploaded this worksheet for you to complete. Can you estimate the weight of different things around your house? So you would write what you are measuring in here. You would guess what weight you think it was. And then you would write the measurement in here. Once you have used either a kitchen or bathroom scale to measure your object. Please don't worry if you don't have any scales. You can always just compare the weight of two different objects using your hands to see which is heavier and which is lighter. Happy weighing! Good luck!